hello guys come on in deb here with art and grace come on and have let's have some fun on a friday night and by fun i mean crafty artsy fun <laughs> come on in let me know where you're watching from guys if you are new to me again my name is deb with art and grace i'm here in south fort worth and this is a segment for craft round the clock if you are not in that group you're going to want to get in there so you can see all the crafters that came before me and the ones that are after me hi april <laughs> hi Brooky. how are you you guys i forgot to send out my telegram alert oh no okay Brooky. i need you and carrie to do some magic can y'all put a post or something for art and, or for the vips i totally forgot my alert hi barbara Hi, Patty. Come on in, guys. Hi, Melanie. Good evening to you. If anyone is able to sprinkle this out, that would be fantastic since I forgot to send my alert. And you know how that is. Everybody will be frustrated at me. So do your thing, friends. Let's get more friends. Hi, Sandra. I hope you're feeling a little better. I know it takes some time. Sandra has got some terrible allergies and that can make you feel like you have the flu. So I'm so sorry. I know April. I know you ladies that work nine to five. I've been there. I've worked all kind of shifts, all kind of hours, like six to two thirty and eight to five and all everything in between. Y'all look at this. I, I broke my thing right before my live. So I'm literally wearing this like a little mess. We're going to hopefully do okay with it just hanging here. So let me know if you can hear. Thank you, Brecky. Hi Leanne, hi Carol, hi Sue. Okay, I've got a beautiful painting for you. I am gonna get started. So if you guys follow me on Art and Grace, you may have seen my post, but I said, you know, I always, I like to put a post. I don't always do it, but I do it a lot where I'll ask you guys, what should I paint? So whoever that I just, it strikes me and I paint the one that you suggested, I will send you happy mail. So be sure and always comment on that because um, you never know. I might pick yours. It just all depends on my mood and what I've painted lately and what I haven't painted lately. So we're going to start with our background like always. And I'm getting out just some regular acrylic paint in um, natural buff. So you can see it's kind of a creamy. It's got a little peach in it. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Sherry Brown. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Kathy Dean and Beth Fod. And thank you, Sandra, for sprinkling. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Dina. How are you and Kenny tonight? Okay, so let's get started. I will go back because I know I'm going to miss some comments. But thank you guys for being here on this Friday night. We're going to get a little background going. And I'm mixing this color with some white because I want it pretty light. And you'll see why. When we get a little further I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve tonight that I'm going to teach you that will really elevate your regular paintings I am NOT going to do glass art I don't think because I just don't think I'm going to have time but we'll see how far we get we will see but I do think this will be a beautiful one to do glass art with so I will probably if I can't get to it tonight I'll do it another day and um, because I think it's going to be gorgeous with with some glass like most things is hello thank you for sprinkling Beth hi Brenda hi Sharon hello Addie thank you Christy for sprinkling how are you today in Illinois hi Tana how are you feeling too you guys give me a little update Dina are you just getting so excited I'm getting so excited to meet you and you know in person of course we feel like we're we are friends but you know to get to hug next and see everybody in person is gonna be so great so I'm doing all the things y'all to keep my back in check because you know how it gets sometimes so if you have a lot of back issues you know how bad they can get and how fast they can go out on us so we're doing all the things I know it is getting it's just getting so close that now it's like woohoo yay Tana who else is gonna be there anybody else that's watching tonight 
I forgot about him feeling bad, April. I meant to ask him that. Was it yesterday I asked and he wasn't feeling any better? Or Sorry about that because I did mean to ask. Carrie, I get these at Michael's. They're a 4x12. They come in really handy for a lot of different paintings if I don't want to do something really large. And I just don't have the room. So I typically like to paint on these a lot. And I can do them in 45 minutes, you know. Okay, so there's our background for now. We're going to add a little twist to it in a little bit. So I've got to set this where I don't forget it. Now, we're going to do a little bit more down here at the bottom. So somebody requested this, and I just chose her name to, to take the challenge and paint it. Not challenge, but, you know, she everybody can give ideas on that post. And I'm trying to think if I want to stick with this brush. So I'm going to take some green and some brown on my brush at the same time. I know that this sounds like, oh, green and brown. Ooh. Just trust the process, guys. Trust the process. If you don't trust me by now, I don't think you ever will. Because I see it every time. We will wind up with something pretty, but you got to trust me. So as you can see, I'm brushing them on at the same time, getting a little brown, a little green and kind of brushing it on but trying not to overdo it so I don't want to keep going if I keep going over and over it's going to turn into just one dark green so I want there to be you to see little bits of brown in there and you can always go back with some on your brush like I'm doing here and add it but that will give you kind of a cool background okay or whatever you're wanting to do so here we go now you probably see what I'm doing I can't remember, I can't remember who suggested this either. So I'm going to have to go look at my own post to see who it was. Hi, Sonia in Austin, Texas. Did y'all have sun today? They are, Sue. If I don't get to ordering, I've tried to order like three different times and get interrupted. And so I just don't get back to finishing. Or, you know, one time I was like, ooh, I need to ask Dina a question. I did and got my answer and then still haven't done it. But yes and I don't know how long that sale is going to be I've got to get on that maybe as soon as this is over so continuing with my brown and my green get a little more out hi Lisa uh, Dina are y'all having bad weather I know Oklahoma is I've been praying for everybody I hate to see you know especially the tornado or hail all the things that can do damage so just keep your friends in your prayers because even though it may not be happening where you are there's a lot of people that are stressed out and dealing with that kind of thing right now taking shelter and and we've lived in Oklahoma and it's no fun to have to take your kids and get out of bed and go to shelter so I really hate that for them okay so we've got kind of a pretty pretty background let me show y'all is it dark to you guys or does it look okay Hey Monica, Texas Breeze Creations. Can y'all see okay? Feels really dark. I don't know why. The lights are all the same, but maybe it's just my phone. Okay. I like that. So now I'm going to dry this so that we can go on to the next step. Oh good, Carrie, thank you. That relieves my worry because I kind of was like really should have done that today but I've been doing other things it, it's okay to you okay good headed to West Tennessee I'm so sorry I hate that weather this is a thing I love spring but you know we we deal with the allergies and the tornadoes and all the things so it's you take the good with the bad don't you hi Levada thunder and lightning starting Beth I'm sorry be sure all your things are charged up And, oh, good, Linda. You got this one? Awesome. Did they have a good selection? Because, you know, sometimes they'll put things on sale, and then you go to get it, and they don't have anything. You know, it's all sold out. So I don't think they get very much. So, hi, Deborah. We are, I was kind of hoping you guys would start guessing. Can anybody guess just based on this, what we're doing? So I put a post up that said, 
you know, give me some ideas. What would you like to see me paint? And I would say about one third of them are things I've already done, you know, pretty recently. So I just skipped those and kind of looked at the rest and just chose one. Thank you, Kathy Dean. You as well, girl. Hi, Inga. How are you? Did you get your order today? Probably too early. It'll probably come tomorrow. I love shipping you guys these kits. So if you've never ordered one, they're really fun to get. It gives you everything you need to do what I'm doing. Hi, Mary. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Eddie. Oh, I said Eddie. Yes, that's it, Eddie. Okay, so we're going to do a, a cross. It's going to... Hold on. There. My, my um, head may be chopped off, but... It didn't seem like y'all had the whole picture. Uh, we're going to do a cross, but we're going to do some, some other cool things to make this even prettier. So here we go, adding our, I'm getting out my gold, and I am getting out my little, what I call secret weapon, white pearl by Deco Art. It is a gorgeous pearl paint. Let's see if that will show up on camera. It's so pretty. Got just enough sparkle that it is really really pretty when the light hits it and it looks good on just about anything so watching from southwest mississippi good it is no oyster pearl is a different one april we loved oyster pearl but now i'm kind of on white pearl so i've kind of switched over to this white pearl i don't know why they're both really pretty this one just reminds me it's so like romantic and feminine so i really like it Oh, Carrie, you're a teacher. Um, yeah, I, man, God bless you. Oh, some of the things that I see that teachers put up with is just shocking. Okay, I'm taking a round brush. I'm getting a lot of this white pearl all over this brush because I want a good, healthy amount. I'm going to start here at the top and I'm going to go down with just a big kind of sweeping stroke pretty pretty big and then from there I'm gonna do just you know kind of coming down and this is sort of like representative of sun rays or something you know just kind of something shining and I will show you all this up close but you know that I like to take my design and bring it to the side of my canvas it's just kind of a neat unexpected little Thing when people turn it and see the side so I'm just kind of bringing this stroke over to the side does not need to be perfect this is still what I consider whimsical art it does not have to be perfect thank y'all for the stars somebody gave me a hundred stars I appreciate it so let me show y'all up close and we're gonna try to get that light to hit it a little bit but see that so we had a pretty color just you know that base color but then you add that and that's like ooh, pretty you know just gives it a little something special okay so we're gonna let that dry thank you Deborah yeah I love this oh you're from the Amish country Iris wow I've always wanted to go visit that thanks Carrie thanks April you like it oh would she Jen Aw. well tell Jen to come join us okay now we're going to do a little bit more down here at the bottom we're going to we've got our brown on our palette i'm putting a dot of black actually let me get a little bit more thank you guys i'm glad you like it yeah i know carrie i know that most teachers do it it's like a labor of love i know you guys care about the students and oh gosh i just know how hard it is and you know how underpaid you are and all of the things okay so we're going to come down here with this black and we are going to do a what shape would you call this upside down U. so i like to kind of help you guys with telling you break down these things into shapes so really all we've done here is an upside down U. everything else is your your four-year-old could do right tell them to paint some grass a hill and a background and some rays and we're done now I'm not gonna wash my brush I'm just gonna kind of wipe it off on my paper towel and go right into my brown I've got a really dark brown 
and we're going to come over here and draw kind of a kind of the same shape but a little a little rounder like so um, and this is going to be our rock so does that kind of look like a rounded now I know that right now it looks about the same color, but we're gonna fix that. Ooh, is that right, Beth? I, I, I tell you, I need more time there. I wish that I had a lot of time to spend, so I really would like to see Nashville and spend time there, so. Okay, all I've done is take that brush with all the brown and put it into um, this kind of creamy color that I have on my palette and if you don't have that color just use whatever you have and we're just gonna work this in just a little bit but again like I say every time we we need lots of layers layers make our paintings look better and richer more interesting so um, that's what we're doing so it, I know it looks a little funny right there but just hang with us I don't know what that is saying And I can't tell. Darn, I can't tell. So, sorry, I don't know what that says. Thank you, Veronica, for sprinkling. How are you tonight? Thank you, Judy. I'm so glad you're here. I love when I read the comments and some of y'all will be like, I think I can do that. I'm going to try it. Oh, it just makes my day. So now I'm going to go into that brown, grab just a tiny bit of white, tiny bit, tiny bit of black. So it's gonna kind of make a gray when we start moving this around. You can do it again with the black and the white. Just putting some different colors into this rock and just kind of rounded it out a little bit. You know, do whatever you want. You can, you know, this is just a fun little painting so it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can, Pat, you can, my friend just put this video on and do the one step and then pause it and then do the next step and then pause it and you can do it i promise you can um anybody can do this type of painting if they'll just try it and practice you know it just takes a little bit of time before you're before you're doing what i'm doing or better so now i'm kind of taking these strokes and just breaking it up so it's not a perfect you know, not a perfect round look. So see that? So that's our little rock. Good. I hope you do, Pat. I do hope you'll try. Let's make that a little taller now that I'm looking at it. I think I could bring it a little higher so that it will, we want it to actually kind of look like it would cover the, the whole doorway because we don't want people thinking he crawled out of a little crack. He actually... <laughs> So we're not going to leave any room for that kind of comment. <laughs> Just however you want that rock to look, you can totally do. Okay. Does any, is anybody able to translate that for me? I don't know if you, you know, usually you can press it and if it, you can push translate, but it doesn't do it for me while I'm on this. So if y'all can, just want to be sure that we don't have any kind of spamming going on. You know, that weird stuff. Hi, Jackie. I'm glad you're here, friend. Um, what color is the white? Helen, it's just uh, Snow White from Deco Art. Um, where are we? Right here. Snow White, Deco Art. And we have used White Pearl and Natural Buff. Okay, so got that. Now, here we go with our next pretty thing. Okay, you ready? We almost could do our glass art. I don't know, let's just, let's just keep going and see how far we get. Yes, you're welcome. Helen won a ceramic something, was it a tree? Thank you, Deborah. Is goodbye okay cool um Helen was it a ceramic tree if I'm thinking right okay I'm coming in with my gold or with my gold with my thin detail brush just long and thin and touching into my gold 
and I chose a thin brush so that I can get the kind of look I want so let me show you on here with a detail brush you can get a really small line or you can take it and press really hard and get a nice thicker line so you'll be able to do yours however size you want if you want it thick or thin it doesn't matter you know it's personal preference on things like this hi carol okay so she, she said bye um, so I'm going to start up here. I'm going to really try to keep this even. So I'm looking at my canvas and just kind of right here in the middle. Now, you guys don't don't judge me if it's not even. Because upside down, you know, it's not surprising if it's wonky. Oh, good. So yeah, when y'all see little things, I love giving things away. So if y'all see a post or something where I'm like, hey, what should I paint? Uh, and I choose yours, then I'm going to send you Happy Meals. So I can't remember the name, whoever it was that said across. But I'll go back and find it and message her. But if, if you happen to be on here, then just, ooh, be careful, guys. Look what I just did. And I don't want to get that onto my painting. So move those extra palettes away. <gasps> Monica, are you here? I see your little picture. If you are, I've been thinking about you. Are you guys on your adventure? Okay. And then we're going to go this way. So again, I'm going to try to keep this straight. Just press it down. Make it, you know, somewhat thick. Try to make it somewhat even. I can turn this toward me and be sure, but you know. Hi, Shelly Ann. Christy, thank you for sprinkling. You guys amaze me. I appreciate so much. It's not straight, of course. I should know. I should know and just turn it toward me because sometimes hi Lori you tell him you are busy I'm teasing how are you guys doing in Florida how's your weather I hope that y'all aren't having bad weather I know so many are tonight if you are not having bad weather, I ask you pray for the ones that are, right? Because there'll be a day when we need the prayer. I'm thickening this up and making it quite a bit thicker. Because I think that I will do glass art. Whether I do it tonight or not, I don't know if I'm going to have time. But anyway, I'm kind of making this a little bit thicker. Let's just kind of curve out. See, it's really kind of difficult sometimes to get things really even and... The same on one end as the other. Maybe it's just the pressure of being live. I don't know. But let's see how that's looking. So there's our cross. Oh, good, Monica. Y'all be so careful. I've been praying for you. Okay, so I'm going to take this gold and come around. Actually, the, before I do that, I need to write. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let me look at my watch again. Hmm. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, Luke. Luke, hold on. Luke. Is it four? Oh, wow. I am blank on the Bible verse that I should have memorized. Um, mm, he is not here. I know it's in Luke. Well, it's probably other places too, but does anybody know it? If, if you do, you can put it in the comments, but I'm trying to type this in because I have forgotten. He is not here. Somebody's probably putting it in. He has risen. Luke 24, 6 to 7. Okay, so that's what I wanted to write down here at the bottom. So just take a, you know, marker that's permanent. 
This one is not my best. Mm. Okay, we'll do this. You will get a much cleaner look if you use a marker, like a paint marker, as opposed to uh, handwriting. My handwriting is just not good enough. Four, and I'm just going to put six so there we go just write that right on to your painting if you want to are y'all still there let's get my comments back sorry I have to find my comments because it drives me crazy when I can't see what y'all are saying so bear with me There we go. Whew. Sorry, that took a second. And I think I lost them. So y'all will have to comment again for me to see them. Love it. Okay, good. I got a comment. Now, I'm going to take that same skinny brush with our gold and kind of put some gold around this we want to we want to kind of make this pretty okay here's my thing on crosses so i sat through a sermon once now my husband's a pastor so it was his sermon but i sat through one of his sermons that he was talking about well he went through all of the details about crucifixion and what it was like and you know what I'm talking about when you the the graphic details um, to kind of make us aware of how horrific it was and since that sermon I cannot paint decorative crosses so a lot of people will ask me to I can't do it because it was a form of horrific torture and you know, I've worn crosses. I don't have a problem, you know, with anybody else who does it. It's just that for me, um, I want the whole gravity of what he had to do for us. Um, I want to feel it. You know, I don't want it to, I don't want to beautify it or make it pretty because it wasn't pretty. It was really ugly. So, um, I, I do the gold here. I'm doing the gold, but that's as pretty as this will get. Like, I can't do, I know a lot of people wanted, um, like, flowers around the cross. And I've seen some of your guys' things, and they're beautiful. I love them. They're pretty. But, like, for me, I just can't. I just can't. So, I'm leaving it like this. Now, Becky, that's a fantastic idea. You could make this, like, a wood cross and make it really rugged. You could even incorporate him, like, a piece of him in here. And that would be pretty. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take just any brush. This is, I just grabbed one. I know, Leanne, exactly. It does make me cry. You know, um, I can't see stuff like that, Helen. Like when, when I saw the trailer and things, like it is so, so hard to watch and so upsetting that I just felt like I couldn't bear it. I just couldn't bear it. So, um, I know I need to break down and do it. I'd have to do it in my privacy because I'd be a blubbering idiot at the at the movie theater. But I'm taking some of this gold on just any brush and I'm going to just kind of brush it on around. So in my mind when I was doing this, it's like anything. Now, not that at this point, you know, it's not, I don't know. I just, I just like this. Let's just say that I just like this gold kind of around this area let's just make it you know really stand out with this gold so I've just taking any brush and just putting a little bit on now I'm going to take my finger and you can use a brush for this as well or a sponge would work um, but you know I use my finger a lot of times with art so and running it down the side here 
just run your finger down the side. I don't know how much to tell you if you use it, you know, you're just going to have to practice on something before you go for it maybe, but um, I mean, you can't hurt it. Yeah, exactly, Cynthia. That's what I don't want to do. I know. I can't get that out of here and it's driving me nuts. Oh, there we go. Now, where's my comments? There we go. There we go. Annette. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope you're okay. I'll have to message you when I'm done. I'm just taking my finger and dragging it all down the sides. Y'all see this? And making it really fancy because this is something special that I'll be able to display every year. And honestly, you could leave it out. There's no reason, you know, that you have to put things like this away. But it's definitely Easter season. Oh, you like it? Yes, Corey, I believe, um, I mean, Carrie, that it's splendid gold. No, it's glorious gold. Sorry. Glorious gold. And just putting on however much you think you want will work. Okay, now, why don't, why don't, I don't know, do I have time, y'all, you know that I want to do the glass. <sighs> okay, wait, who said that? Oh, wow, you are Patty? Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna have to go back. Can't wait to read all of your comments. Thank you guys for commenting. If you see a post of mine and you put a heart or you put a comment, I am so grateful because Facebook really is limiting my reach. And I don't know why, probably because I talk about TikTok or I talk about um, YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have code words so that when I mention those, they don't do this to me. But um, I'm gonna try Carrie. Thank you, Annette, for the stars. Uh, but it's so bad. It's so bad that I can get really down. So I'm trying not to look at it. But it's really frustrating to work so hard. And then they're like, you know, my, what I call it my paycheck from Facebook. But it is just pitiful. And that's how I pay bills. So I really need, I'm really working hard to grow my YouTube. Because I just don't feel like I can trust this platform. Huh. Patty, bless you. Oh my goodness. Okay, you need this to be totally dry. It's why I'm really, you know, this gold paint will take just a little bit longer to dry. And you don't want to hold your heat gun too close because if you do, it will bubble and ruin your paint. But this is gorgeous just like this. It doesn't even have to have the glass. Look at that. I hope that you can see it in the light, but it really is something pretty. Okay, let's just take a look. I think it's good and dry. Mm, it's pretty dry. Hi, Karen. That is okay. I like YouTube a lot. Yeah, I think Facebook knows and they're like, yeah. they, they know my game. They're punishing me whatever Facebook sometimes you find out Facebook is not your true friend okay so when you buy an art kit from me if you ever do or if you have bought one you can kind of verify um, that you get all this stuff in it you're gonna get gloves and um, paint a couple of brushes glass you're gonna get everything you need to hold please to do one of these designs and let's just say for fun maybe put a few of these I don't know you guys are gonna have to help me because you have a good view where you're looking and I am 
doing it from upside down, but how does this clear glass look up here on some of these rays? I don't want it to take away from the cross, but I want it, I think it could be pretty. So I'm going to put a few and y'all let me know. Helen, most of them are around 30. Um, but the prices are going to go up because it's, it's, I look at what other people charge and they charge a lot more. Um, they'll have to go up at some point, but like I really do this so that you guys will try it and fall in love. You know, like I think th that painting and being creative is so important. So I try to keep them as low as I possibly can, but I also need to make a profit, you know, and there's a lot of time that goes into these and learning all the techniques that we learn and shipping and all the things. Okay, um, let's see. This is some gold. I like the clear too. I think clear is such a classy look. It just kind of lets your painting show through. Now, I don't know that I'm going to like this gold. I'm just going to put a few on and see what I think because I might rather have clear or none there. I don't know until I play with it. That's why I was like, I don't know if I'm going to have time until I play with it. I, I don't know what I think. Oh, thank you, Annette. I truly love doing these and I love teaching you guys. And, and then when you do it and show it to me, I'm so grateful. I just love seeing it. And, and the thing I love the most is when people say, I was so scared to try it and I love it. That just makes me happy because that's how I was. I wasn't, I wasn't brave about using a heat gun or a torch, a butane torch. And by the way, if you do glass art and, um, thank y'all for the stars. Goodness. I got some more. If, if you do glass art and you haven't seen my latest reel it's you'll just go back a few posts and you'll see the reel and it will show you how to do um how to fix if you have a resin spill and it goes over the side it'll show you how to fix it it's not fun but it's doable so i prefer to not overuse resin and that way i don't have to mess with that stuff but occasionally i mess up and get too much and all that. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up and let y'all try to look. Let me know how this is looking. Yes, thank you, Patty. I hope anyone new will touch the screen and then the three dots touch those and follow. That's okay, Leanne. Sprinkle, give hearts, all the things. Oh, we're in a stars party. Yay. See, Facebook is like, I'll throw her a bone. Do y'all like that? Is it too showy you know how i am about it i don't know let me know oh gosh see we don't have time we just don't have time um maybe i'll come back on tomorrow and do the whole resin you know and show y'all with the resin what do y'all think Ooh, let's do it I'm gonna have to see what I think. I just can't tell yet. And and I also have some black glass I might put on top of that tomb. But see, I don't want it to get too, too showy. Let's see if we can speed paint. Can we speed paint another one and I'll give it away to one of y'all that's on? Because like, that's another thing I noticed when you guys, you know, there's a lot of people that will pop on and say hi and then leave. And I understand that 100%, I do it too because we can't stop for a whole hour and watch somebody. But the ones that do stay the whole time, I notice and I appreciate that. So I would love to give y'all one of these if we can do it super quick. So let's speed paint. Oh, thank you, Chrissy. That is so sweet. I appreciate it. Hi, Ari. Listen, um, you know, I know we have a lot of silent watchers and I appreciate you guys too. Um, sometimes say a little hi that's all you have to say and let me know you're here because I always wonder you know who are these people that they're here but they never speak but I totally get it not everybody is a chatter 
and you may have me muted because you're like, oh, stop with the talking. I totally understand. You know, we're all different. All of us, takes all of us, doesn't it? And all different kind of personalities and Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy this. And um, that's a quick one. You saw how quick we painted that. I will actually give this tracer to anyone because this is one that I think would be good to, to print out and have if you have kids come over or grandkids come over. You can tell them the story. You can read it to them right out of the Bible. And... Um, just go to any of the Gospels, we'll have it, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, and let them color it. They don't have to use paint if you don't want them to. Let them color it. Maybe at Easter lunch, while you're preparing and getting things heated up or ready, you can let them color the tracer and talk about the story. So that would be cool. So I will do that as well. Give me a minute. You know what I mean? Like, it may be... It may, I'll try tonight to do it, but I've got a couple of things to do. I may not can get this done, but we're going to try. And even if we don't, I'll give it away. Yeah, I think it's good to have things on hand. So anytime I give away tracers, by the way, I always give away one free tracer every month on my page. I mean, on my website. So it's artgracepaint.com. And just go on there and it's on the front page brown good you're gonna try it oh good Colleen you guys go follow my friend crafty kettle I have the hardest time remembering this name but um, give her a follow you know when you see crafters that are coming on and you're not following them I mean, I'll tell you, I'll tell you if I know them and, you know, they're good people to follow, but um, you can always unfollow anybody. So, you know, it's kind of fun to see what other people do and what they're about. And you never know, you might see something that you're like, that is perfect for what I need, you know, never know. Take one of my ideas, take one of her ideas and mesh them together. and come up with something totally cool. So it looks good on this size too, or it will look good, because I like having this extra. Oh, it is, hello Mimi. It is, where'd it go? Crafty Kettle. You're not a chatter, Dina. <laughs> That's okay, Kenny is, isn't he? Ron is not a chatter. You will get along with Ron. He, he is definitely a man of few words. I'm a little worried. I'm like, you're going to have to talk more when you meet. <laughs> oh, there's a heart canvas there, Karen. Cool. I did not know. Y'all, I've... I'm really on a kick of using what I have and not, I haven't, good. And you guys, same with Crafting With Mimi. Um, she lost her page. You can tell the story. I don't know how long ago it was. And so she's had to start over from square one. We all need to go follow Crafting With Mimi and give her, this is how frustrating Facebook can be. Um, see, this is why they don't like me because I say stuff like that, y'all. Um, give me some hearts so that they will <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need hearts now after I said that but you know they don't help a creator when that happens you're just you're just out of luck and so she had to start over with one you know like you have 20,000 followers or however many you lose your page and then you're back to one I mean that is so unfair and so I would love for you guys to follow her and let me know if you do because I want to say thank you personally because that means a lot to us that, that, that that's happened to, you know. So anyway, we'll see what the time says here. 
Oh gosh, I'm late. I've got to get off. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I'll choose one of you for this little giveaway and I'll show you what we do on here. If you will go to Craft Around the Clock, you can see the next creator after me. And I'm so sorry that I took over a minute. So thank you guys. I gotta go. Bye. Love you.